Hello, everyone. Oh, and welcome back to Vampire. I was going to say Jonathan's really close to the camera, but he moved back. Okay. I see that there's an exclamation mark here, so... So we're probably going to go talk to Swansea. I don't know what about... Before we head over to our sister's funeral. I wonder if it's because I slept? What you got? What you got? I need to talk to you, Edgar. We do? Please do so. Nurse Crane will not be returning to Pembroke Hospital. Oh, really? Did something happen? She seems such a very capable woman. Um... She forever gone! Sure. She was blackmailing Lady Ashbury. Thought she was murdering patients as some sick upper-class game. Nurse Crane was playing a dangerous game. She's lucky Lady Ashbury abhors violence. Okay. So you manage a hospital financed by a vampire? Yes. Pembroke was founded by Lady Ashbury. She's also our largest donor. How convenient! <laughs> a convenient yet expensive way to have a fresh supply of blood on hand. Day and night, don't you think? All vampires drink blood by nature. Me, I praise the lady's exemplary moral fiber. If I may inquire, how did you meet her? Well, Jonathan, she sought me out and offered me the position. It's been a very profitable partnership for both parties. Do you know anything about the vampire hunters in the East End? Yeah, they were about to, like, come storm Without this place. Without doubt, it's the guard of Prewen. Zealots to the last man. Drinking my coffee? Hold on. Where did they come from? Well, once they shared the Brotherhood's ideology on non-intervention. But they concluded vampires were a scourge. Oh. Okay. They're definitely well organized and equipped. They're extremely dangerous and not to be trifled with. To them, you're a feral beast, and I, your accomplice. Gotcha. We'll talk later. I guess that's what we had to tell him that Dolothy won't be coming back. Okay. We have to bite the bullet. I was gonna say, maybe I should go to the docks and see some people. Is our dude... Is our priest dude still here? It doesn't look like it. Looks like Harriet Joe. Oh, no, no, there he is, Sean. Hello again, Dr. Reed. He's a pillar, Good. so... And Harriet Jones. I don't know why she's not officially part of the, um... The Pembroke, which is interesting. And also, we're still missing one person, but maybe when we go to the cemetery, we'll be able to do things. So I'm going to go ahead and go um, to our sister's funeral. It's going to be awful and full of self-hating. I already see it. I already see it. Wait, how do I get there? This way. We killed our sister. And our mom! Oh, she found their body. It's not gonna be a fun time. Despicable. I have this thirst for blood. Oh my gosh. Ma'am. What the hell? Hey. Stupid. Ow. 
Ow. Woo! Mind is team. Y'all are in my way. I have to get to a funeral. <laughs> Again, how do they know what I am if I come close to them? I know it's probably just game mechanics, but I like to think of a lore reason for it too. Maybe they see my teeth glinting in the moonlight, in the lamplight. We've been this way a little bit, but I don't think we were allowed to go too far. So what's up here? Huh. There's more dudes. Where am I going? Whoa! 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 Whoa, this is cool! Yo! We're going the wrong way, but we're going like very back alley. I'm gonna have to run back because this is not. Oh, it's blocked! I cannot enter. What? All that work. All that work. And we can't even do it. <laughs> That's cool. I like this. Soap. There's a dude there. And there's a dude there. Why are there so many pre ones? Let me in. It's locked, all right. On the other side. Oh, where am I going? Where is this? We're just going. We've been in the sewers. Yeah, we've been here, right? This is where that... No, this is different, it looks like. Oh, fuck off. I can't see. Oh, fuck off. Even when I dodge, he still hits me. Maybe I don't dodge at the right moment. Whoa, chill, chill. Chill, Jonathan. Fuck off. 
There we go. There we go. Lots of skulls, man. So we're under the assumption that these skulls are being made from the Spanish flu in some capacity. here actually I'm gonna be honest we bite we claw we strike And then we are back to the beginning. Interesting. I don't know why we were in here. Well, how do we get over there? Ooh. Sewer area is disgusting, but. That's dark. He's dark in here. What are you doing? What are you doing? I've gotten such little XP. 150? Oh my god, 155. Chat world. Why did I do this? <laughs> Why did I go? Why did I do this? Now we can open this door from the other side. Interesting, but why would we do this? What's over here? Pre win? Fuck off. I hate the dudes with the fire. Annoying. Annoying, if anything. Not that hurtful. I'm assuming there's gonna be a quest over here, and we just did this early. Oh, yeah. I cannot enter. Got a new hideout, though. It's locked, oh. right? Well, now we're in the cemetery. When I probably shouldn't be in here from this angle.
finish that up real quick. Okay. My dear sister. Ooh. I don't know if I have the strength. Brother, we gotta go. We gotta though. We gotta gotta gotta. We gotta do what we gotta. So many rats here. Or maybe the funeral already happened. Discreetly attend Mary's funeral. The fuck? Oh. What? He said, I can take it in a fight, right? Stupid little waving around his fire. Don't, don't do that. I guess this was another way to get in. To uh, get to the grave. The cemetery. Let's do what we gotta. Let's see. Don't look! Don't look, whatever you do. Hey, yo! I don't know, but don't look. Just try to help you, ma'am. I'm stuck. Hello, it's okay. Ah, oh, you're the other lady. Are you alright, miss? I, I don't know. Who were those people? They, they, they wanted to kill me. Why? They've lost their minds in the epidemic. They won't come back for now. You seem to know a lot about them, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating this disease. I am Xiao Shun. Xiao Shun. Thank you so much for helping me, Xiao... Mr. Reed. Shun. I must go to the cemetery now. Goodbye. Okay. Welcome! I'm glad you're alive. Carnage. Is Father Whitaker's disciple among the bodies I want? Oh, is this what? Okay. Whoa. This man's far too old to be Samuel. No. By the look of his clothes, this man's a docker. Don't tell me this is the dis Samuel isn't here. Oh. I had better follow the blood trail. Damn, what the fuck is Samuel? What in the hell? Widow in distress. We we saved her though. Oh my god, this was actually a lot of blood and carnage. Shouldn't you go back home, where you'll be safe? Maybe later. But for now, I need to talk to my husband at the cemetery, Mr. Reed. Alright, Xiao Shun. Xiao? Is that how we said it? Xiao Shun? Well, I'm glad we saved her. The fuck are you just standing there for? <laughs> Why did I lock on a dude that was miles away? Stop. Stop. I need 
bơi lên oh I was trying to dodge I'm not quick enough for that shit oh Jesus oh Jesus come on a little bit too much blood for that. God, there's so many dead people here. And not in the cemeteries, not in the graves like they should be. We have a little rat, I'm sorry. I can't believe I'm doing this. Ah. Why are there so many skulls? Also, aren't we worried about our mother in any way? Do we care about our mother? She's still alive. There's so many skulls. Like, what the fuck is happening? So many and for what? No one is safe in this cemetery. Oh, please, Jonathan. This is where we just saved her. Okay. That dude's on it. Holy crap. Holy crap. Is Samuel a, a vampire hunter? Is what I'm I'm figuring out. Is the good word. He's a he's a skull. Okay. He sure be screaming though. Diary. 12th October, Father Whittaker is so righteous, so full of compassion and love for the suffering ones. His words are all the city needs. Tonight I gave him all I have. My strength, my faith, my wealth. And if it is not enough, I know where to find more. I know where to find more. 17th October. 
Father Whittaker and I went to an abandoned house near St. Mary's Church. It was an awful and smelly place. Rats were disputing the rooms to the last remaining residents of the decrepit flats. Most of them are sick. Awful, awful odors. On the last floor, Father Whittaker found an old man lying on a dirty mattress, coughing and spitting blood in a wooden bowl. Father Whittaker knelt before him and prayed a long time. The man seemed to feel better. Then we both helped him find the light. I cried then and I cry now as I write these lines. For I've never seen a soul so relieved to be finally redeemed. Are you killing people? Father Whittaker is a saint. If it's not presumptuous nor a sinful expression of pride, I wish I'll be able to save as many souls as he does. For it's a real privilege to witness such miracles. 19th October. Tonight... Uh, we both went to the whorehouses boarding the canal. And Miss Smith was very afraid to cross the path to Jezebel's, but the buildings were abandoned for a long time. Whores and infections go together, explained Father Whittaker, but their customers quickly get scared when there is mention of disease. In the last brothel, we found two sick women sleeping together in a sinful attitude under dirty blankets. The odor, the odor was awful once more. The smell of Satan and of disease, explained uh, Father Whittaker. Before kneeling and praying for these two lost souls, the women were so frail and sick they were not able to move when I threw the petrol on the blankets. Their souls are now cleansed and purified. They burned them? My God. 21st of October. Father Whittaker is a saint. I won't let anyone mock the holy man he is. He, he shall receive more help and support, but all as all the true prophets, he is alone. He needs more from his followers. He needs love and proof of love. Tomorrow I shall go back to the cemetery <laughs> and unearth more wealth for him. The dead, the dead have no need of the terrestrial goods, but we need to eat, Father Whittaker and I. Is he stealing? He's grave robbing! 27th of October. Tonight, for the first time, it was my turn to leave the round. I chose to return where we went ten days ago to see if any more souls needed to be freed. Father Whittaker approved my choice since the good man's work is never finished and Satan never sleeps, he explained. He also said if I keep shove showing so much zeal, he may soon give me more important missions and tasks. I can't wait. Three more souls have been cleansed from any corruption. Tonight, if it's not presumptuous nor a sinful expression of pride, I dare to say we are on a path to greatest. Brother. So he is literally burning people when he says he wants to cleanse the epidemic by fire. Wow. I mean, I'm not, I shouldn't be surprised. At this point, I shouldn't be surprised. They're literally burning sick people when they're still alive. All right, well, let's, um. Holy symbols and ocularum. No. Aca. Occulcum. <laughs> uh, if you ever face a vampire, never forget that they fear holy symbols, as long as you have the faith. A cross, a star of David, an olive branch even can prove useful to repair these creatures from the pit. But you will not harm them for good. If you really want to hurt them, only one solution exists. Forget about wooden stakes or silver bullets and find yourself the strongest weapon against vampires. Orculcum. Orculcum. Orkelcum. <laughs> That's how you say that. Do you think it's a coincidence that this was common in Atlantis, according to the legend in ancient writings? Atlantis was infested with vampires, and the place is, known now, is now known as the Santa Tor Torini, Santor Santorini Island. I'll personally pay 10,000 pounds to the man who can provide me some real of that. Clarence Crossley. For more information, please contact me directly. Okay. Interesting. I do wish we had like a little mini map so I can see kind of where we're going. I don't know how I feel about the little line only at the top. I know I played other games like that, like Horizon, and it worked out well. But I feel like a, a game like this personally needs a mini map. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I guess we're gonna go do Mary's funeral finally. I don't know. This is real bad. Since I can't reveal myself to my mother now, I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. 
Oh, Mama. Are there even people here? Oh. Oh, is that our mom? Oh, here we go. That's so sad. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Oh my goodness, she's so old too, having her children die before her. I'm so sorry. Why kill my Mary and stick her here in this cold, god-awful place? <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic. Oh, Avery, I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. She has a butler. Everyone will leave and we'll have our moment to go mourn, pay our respects. Yeah. So fucking sad. Jonathan, oh. there is nothing you can do but accept it. Lady Ashbury. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. She was a good person. Vibrant. Full of life. She was kindness incarnate, my Mary. You're a good person, Jonathan. And a young Ekon. A newborn cast into the night without so much as a candle to guide your way. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. And it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind shattered and and it haunts me Jonathan stop listen carefully you must come to terms with this you must learn to live with what happened bro it literally just happened <laughs> how is it possible tell me oh my god it's almost screaming it's so easy to take a life every night and then just smile and nod at those you spared don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies, feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve, and the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here, to warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends. No. Loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. Thank you, my lady. I will. I do think so Good. as well. But be careful. If I found you here, others may too. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. St. Mary's Church? Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. He does need to forgive himself eventually. But like, bro, you killed your sister on the first night you became a vampire. 
I don't know how you're gonna- I mean, eventually time heals all wounds, literally. I know that's like a cheesy thing to say. But it's the truth. Alright, we're going to St. Mary's Church, which is kind of ironic, because Mary. Why did that music start up? Don't do that to me. <laughs> like, hello? Oh, way over there. Oh, yeah, because we went there before. Well, let's continue on. Oh, that was not the person I wanted to- I'm, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons, by the way. Oh. Don't worry, I hit every wrong button, so it's fine. <laughs> We kind of- oh, maybe we can- wait, 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 wait. This dude. Maybe we can do this dude. Oh! Okay. And off to church he goes, a newborn seeking divine consent. What the fuck? Blood from the soft and pointy crown. Seize your blood. You? Make yourself known. Newborn, you reek of guilt and- Who the fuck are you? Shed your skin. Forget your old, weaker self. What do you want from me? Oh! He's huge! Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn He's so big! I them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. What does that mean? Oh, what? These immortals try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. Bro, for real, can y'all just like give me some guidance? Some actual true guidance? He's not gonna do his thing, is he? Bastard. Okay. Maybe because we're stuck in a mean story thing. Fine. Can y'all just actually tell me what the fuck's going on? That would be helpful. Dude. Do you not see the skull? Dude! Damn, they killed it. They actually killed the skull. I should have helped so I could have got the experience. All right. This little side area. Let's do it. Can I even enter? Yes? Dude. What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know. Oh. Vicar? Vi May I help you, John? Joseph, <gasps> you seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray, to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. You seem to me a good soul, vicar, but this is a personal matter. There are no secrets from God, my son. <laughs> If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chapel. For I can be a silent. <laughs> yeah, but you can. I 
I mean, I like how these two said this is a private concern. This is a private matter. What is the difference? I've words for one departed. They're not for living ears to hear. Your eyes burn with rage, yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me. Am I God's creature? And the Lord. Very well, priest, as you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? She was my sister. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? It was an accident. Are we going to say we did it? Because that would be kind of sus. But I do want to say she was murdered. She was murdered. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? I feel responsible. The pain is consuming me. I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What words would you like to say to your poor sister? I killed you. Oh! There's no excuse. I didn't know he was going to say that. My dear Mary, forgive me. You have been heard, my son, and your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Oh. Go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have wanted. Okay, maybe you saw that as like a metaphor, metaphorical thing. Oh! There. I confessed to that vicar. Do I feel better? Only time will tell. I don't... I don't know. I didn't know he was going to say I killed her. <laughs> like, uh. Okay, let's go to the dude here and tell him Samuel was killed. Because what else are we going to say? For some reason I thought this dude and that dude was the same person, but they're not. Good evening, Mr. Whitaker. He's Father Whitaker, my son. Whitaker. So, are you still in your rational delusions? Um, I found your disciple. I have found Samuel, your disciple. I am afraid I have bad news. I already expected the worst. He should already have come back. He is dead, isn't he? Yes, he is now. The epidemic took him. Samuel steadily made donations to our cause. He would have rewarded you himself if you'd found me in that awful cemetery. Please accept this money. You are awful. Have you recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? That woman is as depraved as Jezebel, and she deserves the same fate. Really? Why is that? This woman runs no medical facility, but a temple to the false prophets of science and debauchery. And she has many accomplices, I heard. Many accomplices. Okay. Why did you send Samuel to the cemetery, Tobias? What did you see there? I sent him on a vision. A dream of a dreadful and laughing queen covered with blood. What? Sleeping with the dead and feeding on the fear of the dying. A laughing queen dressed in blood. Tell me more. This epidemic is her feast, the announcement of her return. Against her, science is no more than a child's toy. But who is she? She is the mother of harlots and abomination of the earth. She is Babylon, drunk on the blood of the saints. Huh. Your disciple, Samuel, Stole from the dead in Stonebridge Cemetery. I have proof of his crime and proof of his death. No! Samuel was the best of us. So devoted, so zealous. 
He gave all he had for the cause. He tirelessly preached the good word. And yet... And yet... He defiled the dead. Which I do the same. <laughs> That's how he financed your misguided crusade. Think what you will. When this city is saved, he will be praised for his devoted fortitude. He walked boldly into the mouth of abomination. Bro, he was a crook. <laughs> your precious Samuel used you. He was an immoral crook. <sighs> if that's true, then he will be my burden to bear during this endless night. Bro, okay, I, I'm, we're doing the same thing as Samuel, basically. We are killing and we are stealing from the dead when we kill him. <laughs> Uh, game mechanic wise, but if someone's going to be preaching on a high horse, that's when I'm going to be like, actually, this is everything that's wrong with you if you're going to be like that. Why did you send Samuel to the cemetery, Tobias? What did you see there? I sent him on a vision. Yeah, a laughing queen covered in bud blood. So we said, tell me more, but should we say that's enough goodbye? You sent a man to die because of a stupid vision. I have heard enough of your nonsense. Goodbye. Oh damn, goodbye. Goodbye. Good evening, Mr. His father. Tobias Whitaker, confess why you burnt those people alive. I have done what no one was wow. ready to do. I will smite the flesh of the unclean to protect the righteous. Wow. You are just another heartless exploiting the epidemic to kill with impunity no no yes <laughs> the only way to contain the spread is to strike at the source itself the proliferating sect brother you're not the savior of london you're just a glorified sadist i take no pleasure in this awful cleansing doctor do i do it I am only driven by the thousands of innocents I save each night. Oh, save? You mean kill. So we also have this. What do you mean when you say that I am more lost than you thought? All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences. And most of them can't see the plain truth. Quite a judgmental opinion, if you ask me. But what do I know? Blinded by science as I am. Well, you are seeking, aren't you? Well, I suppose I can spare a I thought we already chose this option before. So called truth. As a doctor, you must be aware of a decimating epidemic. But let me tell you that this so called Spanish flu is just the beginning of the end. What do you mean? The beast is finally revealing the beast. itself, corrupting the flesh and the heart of men. With my own eyes, I have seen them, those minions from the abyss. Okay. I have heard enough. Goodbye. Brother, he is just lost in it. <laughs> we could kill him now. <laughs> we don't have level five mesmerize. Jeez. Oh, I wonder where she's at. I, I don't know if she'll be here already. Yeah, I guess she'll be at the cemetery from now on. But we'll probably have to sleep to see her. Um, okay. Sure. So we've done the Holy Crusade and we've done uh, the main story. I think... I think... I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Um, we're gonna go to our little hideout and bring this episode to a close. Because I think we've done enough. We mourned Mary. We confessed to killing Mary to the fucking vicar, which might not be a good idea. I didn't know he was gonna actually just say, yeah, I murdered you. Sorry. <laughs> but maybe, maybe the vicar will take it as a... Uh... 
if I had been there to help you, but when you got murdered kind of thing, maybe that will be okay. Obviously, I'm not going to sleep. Obviously, uh, but we'll be bringing this episode to a close for now. I'm really excited to keep going. Um, looks like we're just going back to uh, Swansea. Ah, I know I came in here and all that, but maybe we'll go to Swansea anyway. I'll just cut out me running over. I really wish there was like a fast travel button. I know the map's not that big, but... But... Dude, why are you all right here? Christ, he's dead. Ooh. Are you here? Why is there a <laughs> Why is there a dude? Bro, there's just some random skulls down here too. They didn't care to fight them. I get for not having Oh, there is a beast. There is a beast. No, I'm gonna die. Brother, my brother and skull. My brother and skull. <laughs> Jesus. That's what I get for trying to get some XP. All right, to Swansea. I have this thirst for blood. I can't believe I'm doing this. Come here, a little tasty snack. This is despicable. Alright. My god. Die, he was I didn't even notice. Dude, you didn't even notice that your dude died. The Lord. <laughs> Dude, A brother in Christ, indeed. are getting harder enemies out here for my level.
good. So it's not just gonna be lower level enemies in certain parts. But also, holy shit! Literally, holy shit! Okay. I'm just trying to get to Swansea, man. Please move. God. Our maker. Why does he look like that? What's with your head? Fear be gone. I would harm no child of my Who mother. are you? This is your doing. You made me. Made me this creature. What are you? Land. You selected me, chose me, as shall my children yet to come. What is it you seek? This age is sickly. An ancient poison, an older rage, brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This Something to do with the epidemic. That's what I thought. The truth, my champion. Defeat the serpent of knowing with iron spur. Bro, what the fuck? I've had enough of others making decisions for me, pretending to know how I should feel or behave. So the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity? Or was he just projecting this vision in my he mind? He was definitely projecting. <sighs> maybe Edgar can help me with this. Okay. One. Maybe he can, maybe he can't. Well, let's talk to him, hopefully. Well, I kind of want to bring this episode to a close, to be honest. Because I don't know what talking to Swansea will, ha will happen. So, a lot's happening. Like, what the fuck? He had, like, a crown or something or stuff coming out of his head. Uh, he has to be very old. And I want to know about the Vampire Council. I'm so excited to figure out more. Um, really sad episode, though. Really sad episode with Mary. And we confess, so hopefully that doesn't come and bite us back in the butt. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.